Hi, I'm Phileas Stain and I'm the safari expert. And today I'm at an amazing new camp in the Greater Kruger called Antares Bush Camp. And what makes this place so special is Umgedi underground hide in the background. And if you watch to the end of the video, I'll show you how I captured this amazing photograph on our very first night inside. But more about the underground hide in a second. Now Antares Bush Camp lies on a property called Kriki Private Nature Reserve, about an hour's drive northeast of Hoodsbrake. And it covers approximately 3,000 hectares, and like I said before, the animals can move freely between here and the Kruger National Park. Now it's hard to believe, but only 20 years ago, this was all agricultural small holdings. But over the last two decades, all this land has been reclaimed and restored to its original state. And if you ask me, that's a real conservation success story. If you want more information or if you'd like to make a booking, please check the link in the description. For now, let's take a walk through camp. Antares Bush Camp used to be a field guide training camp before it was stripped to the bone and completely transformed into a luxurious self-catering camp ideal for small groups and families that love the bushfell. It has a dining room, spacious lounge and a fully equipped kitchen and sleeps eight guests in four comfortable bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms. The lodge also has a reading deck and a swimming pool for those hot summer's days and an outside dining table and fire pit with a fantastic view. My favorite spot in camp, however, is inside Umgedi Hyde, which was built right next to the camp's existing waterhole. I absolutely love the fact that this underground hide is located right next to camp because it just means that if you need the toilet or something from the kitchen or if you want to take a snooze in a comfy bed, it's literally a 30 second walk. And to ensure your safety when you walk between the hide and the house, they've erected a low electric fence that keeps the animals out but that doesn't spoil the view to the waterhole. When I walked into Umgedi Hyde for the first time, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was carefully designed with not only comfort in mind, but also the unique eye-level perspective that photographers expect from an excellent underground hide. And from the first moment we set foot in it, we were treated to some spectacular animal sightings. If you spend enough time in the hide, you have a real chance of seeing elephants, but impalas, kudus, giraffe and other general game also drink here regularly. all day, every day, and yeah. Awesome. Umgedi Hyde has a day bed, fridge and kettle, as well as super comfy high back office chairs. They really did put a lot of thought into the design of this hide. And I love the fact that I can charge my cell phone or camera batteries right here next to me. And I also like these handy bars onto which you can fasten a gimbal if you've got a heavy camera and lens. And it just means that you don't have to use a tripod, which can easily take up a lot of space. There's also a lot of space here at the top for a bean bag and a wide angle lens. And then some extra counter space, not only for a laptop, but also for other lenses, binoculars, a cup of coffee perhaps. And they quite ingeniously cut out little indentations in it to make some space for your tummy when you move sort of closer and further away from the edge. The most exciting time is just after sunset when it starts getting dark. The last few birds look for a place to roost for the night and nocturnal visitors like this black-backed jackal make an appearance. There's a real tension in the air because you know that this is the time that larger predators like leopards and lions start moving around. When I saw that the hide faces south, I positioned my camera and focused on the edge before it got dark, hoping that something would come down and drink under the stars. Two floodlights light up the edge of the waterhole and there are even lights inside if you need to reposition or find something, making it easier to push through until sunrise. Shortly before midnight on our first night, three lions came down to drink. The floodlights provided enough light to expose the young male drinking directly across from me. Two hours earlier I had also taken a photo of the Milky Way from the exact same position. So all I had to do the following morning was to merge the two images in Photoshop to create what has become my new favorite photograph. And guess what? Antares is in the photo as well. 
Another very special time of the day in Umgedi Hyde is very early in the morning when the birds start calling and the sun slowly paints the opposite edge of the waterhole in bright orange. It's also the time that the birds typically make their way down to the water's edge, sometimes in great numbers and in a variety of different colors, shapes and sizes. I just love listening to the dawn chorus and watching them soak up the sun. So let me show you the lion track of that wonderful shot that I've got of the lion drinking with the Milky Way in the background. This is the actual paw print from when he drank. Actually quite special to see it right down here. Oh. I loved every second of what will hopefully be the first of many visits to Antares Bush Camp. And I didn't even go for a guided bushwalk or game drive, which they offer here as well. And remember, like with any underground hide, the more time you spend there, the bigger your chances of seeing something amazing. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing to the channel, and make sure to check out some of the other videos as well.